when you're traveling to a foreign country, or in the case of the United States, a different state within the country, it's very helpful to understand the culture of the region that you're going to, because some things which make sense where you're from may not make sense where you're going. It's the same way with spiritual things. There are many spirits uh, that are out trying to influence people today. Not all of them are holy. But when we seek to understand the way of the Holy Spirit, we're less likely to be uh, caught up and uh, taken, uh, led astray uh, by deceiving spirits. The first three verses of 1 Corinthians 12, let me read it for you today in the English Standard Version. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brothers, I do not want you to be uninformed. You know that when you were pagans, you were led astray to mute idols, however you were led. Therefore, I want you to understand that no one speaking in the Spirit of God ever says Jesus is accursed, and no one can say Jesus is Lord except in the Holy Spirit. The Apostle Paul is writing to young Christians in Corinth, and some of them came from a completely pagan background. Uh, yes, there were Jews in Corinth, and there were certainly some Jewish converts to Christianity, but many of them came from a completely different worldview, a completely different culture. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Noah, and Adam, and Eve, and all of that meant nothing to them. And Paul is recognizing, listen, some of you have come a long way. You've come from a culture that is so anti-God that it's understandable how you may get confused. And this is exactly what was happen, happening in Corinth in many cases, is that uh, they were kind of mixing their newfound faith and freedom in Christ and, and finding that part of their culture still tried to mix itself in with that. And they had not yet learned to make an absolute clean cut with their own pagan ways. God has provided means for us to make sure that we understand where the thoughts that bombard our mind are coming from, the outside voices that are trying to sway us one way or the other, to understand the source of all this. And we can have liberty and freedom in this. There are some things that we can do to make sure that we stay on track and listen to the right voices. So the first thing we can do is through the indwelling Holy Spirit, we can identify evil. So understanding evil and identifying evil, we're not talking about the person that is evil, we're talking about what's behind what that person is saying. That we can rightly judge whether something comes from a human spirit, from an evil spirit, or from the Spirit of God. We can identify evil. The second thing that we can do through the power of the Holy Spirit is to live holy. It's possible to live above sin in this life. Yes, we are going to fall. Yes, we are going to fail. But please don't ever say, well, nobody's perfect because most people set out to prove it. We are designed by God as regenerated children of God to be able to live holy in an unholy world. And the third thing that we can do is we can be led by the Holy Spirit and we can seek to be led by the Holy Spirit. This is our divine privilege as children of God. He has not left us without hope. He's not left us without direction. He has provided a means by which that we can know the right path to take. The Word of God authored by the Holy Spirit is not going to contradict the Holy Spirit of God. The way of the Word is the way of the Spirit. We are not left on our own. Aren't you glad for that? Makes you want to say hallelujah, doesn't it? So one of the ways that we understand where these spirits are coming from is to identify the real thing, the genuine article, the Holy Spirit of God who will never lead you astray. Let's pray together. Father God, I thank you that you loved us so much that you made a way that we could be indwelled and directed and guided and uh, our lives could be enriched by your Holy Spirit. Every part God as the Son and the Father and that that Holy Spirit indwells our hearts as born again children of God. Help us to pay attention, Father, to the way of the Spirit so that we'll recognize 
the counterfeit when we see it. Thank you, Lord, for loving us so much that you have given us this, this blessing from heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. See you next week. Thank you.